Is it an awesome tool or way too intrusive? Scientists have unveiled a new device they call the epidermal electronic system. It's hair thin and attaches to the skin like a temporary tattoo. Proponents say it could revolutionize the medical field. The patch could replace bulky electrodes and monitor brain, heart, and muscle activity. Critics, though, aren't having it. They are, they're bristling at the thought of attaching a sensor directly to human beings, saying it's a slippery slope that could lead to future microchipping. Now at 9, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's pretty scary for me. I, I, definitely not something I would be interested in. It's, it, I don't know, again, a little too big brother. Mm -hmm. I immediately thought of, you know, my dogs who got microchipped and how they would do that to humans. It's to very, them it's, down. it's yeah. scary for mm -hmm. me. There are far easier ways to have this information at hand than attaching it to your body. I don't exactly, know. Call because me crazy. with that medical information, of course, you have to have your name, your social right. security number, and everything that goes along with you. So then, who can pick it up? Who can, you know, how is it, you know, all I can get, what's what's on our personal file, you know, HIPAA and all these things that can't be out there. Now you have it attached to your body in a form of a tattoo? I mean, perhaps if you had some sort of medical condition where, you know, this could be life-saving if something happened to you and you were just scanned. In fact, I think there was talk about something similar to this a mm. while ago. No. Amber's I'm not, still not Amber's down. Like, no. I'm yeah. still not down. It's <laughs> very much. minority report. Remember all the information yeah. was in the eyeballs, and then all of a sudden people were getting eyeballs on the black market. Like, this is very, very weird. <laughs> Are you worried about eyeballs on the black market? Yes. Is that really what this is about? <laughs> yes. You know, I'm I mean, sorry. This oh is bizarre. God. It's not okay. Yeah, yeah. it's hopefully that Too if high the, tech. You know, when this does happen, if this does happen, hopefully any kind of security measures are put into place. I mean, they could use a serial number embedded to the device that really isn't your social security number. It's simply linked to a database. So you wouldn't really get any information unless you actually held the keys to that database. Yeah, uh, but then who holds the keys to the database, and then if it's hacked, I mean, it's Well, just, our information's out there somewhere. We could go on somewhere. and on. Yeah. Well, and attaching stuff to your skin. I yeah. mean, come on. That's... Well, here's, yeah, you guys are sounding off. Uh, Jackie Yeager on Facebook writes, they have my, S my social security number already, getting way too close to the actual tattoo scan they'll want us to eventually have. Leslie Jones says, if it will get me through security lines at the airport faster, where can I get one? Well, Kenneth Schlein says, pretty soon, if we aren't careful, this kind of thing will be required for identification and tracking by people that we might not want to have track us. We will probably buy the idea in the name of safety and security. Ellie Rakoff jokes, that's one informative tramp stamp. Yeah, well, Maggie <laughs> Shaw, Maggie Shaw agrees. She says, oh, I love this 007 stuff. Becky Broadfoot says, wow, sort of reminds me of the barcodes you see on everything. Just need to use your smartphone to read. Well, George Suttle writes, depends on your health conditions. If you have have problems, he goes into a few of the medical conditions, you know, it might make sense to have that information readily available because it's always important. Mm. Right. Um, Julio, help, Julio Beltran uh, says, I think it's a great idea. Now they can help the government try to figure out how to fix the economy. Yeah, but a lot of you are saying, uh-uh, sounds too big brother to me. Yeah, Ted Sandy says, mark of the beast. <laughs>